Hello my soccer universe. Let's talk Nations League semi-final. Um, not quite yet. Just a few interesting observations that are happening around Europe and I know the club game is officially over and I don't want to spend much time on it but there are still a few things that are happening. Uh, I heard that seemingly Eden Hazard is finally at Real Madrid. I mean deal is about to be announced. Uh, we also have that the financial fair play investigations for uh, Milan have been put on hold to wait for the Court of Arbitration um, verdict on a previous case where Milan actually wanted to uh, was fighting against this uh, suspended ban uh, in a way we'll see where that is going and most damningly same, a similar story Manchester City is actually going to the court of arbitration to fight that their the whole procedure the whole investigation into their uh, case is being halted which I'm sorry and of course and now we're getting to Port Portugal Ronaldo's charges against him have been dropped <sighs> not gonna say much uh, here it was more or less the expected outcome uh, just given that he can afford the biggest lawyers in the world um, they can make stuff go away so uh, not saying that he did or he didn't do what he said but uh, just knowing how court proceedings go that's how it usually goes that the more wealthy clients can get away with quite some stuff, especially if it's only a single accuser. Okay, happier things. Nations League. Um, yesterday was the first semi final, and I have to say, I enjoyed that game a whole lot more than I enjoyed the Champions League final. There was more happening, which I was found very refreshing because I expected, you know, national teams, they have to get going, blah, blah, blah. It's always a little bit. Um, I would say sometimes a drag, um, but on the other side, you had here two teams that kind of know each other. Uh, know each other, I mean, within the team quite well. So there is there is a basic structure. Yes, Port Porter is trying to get a younger generation in. Switzerland had probably Braille and Bolo missing, which was kind of a physical presence that I felt they would have needed in that game uh, in addition to Seferovic in attack but you know um, I think the game was quite enjoyable and I mean right from the get-go I think it was in 30 seconds in that Jan Sommer got pressured by Portugal almost into a mistake um, that would have um, given up at least a big chance for Portugal um, and I have to say and we'll talk about him I think if Switzerland had a shutdown goalkeeper, they would really be a force to be reckoned with. I think that's that's one of the few things in the overall setup of Switzerland that I'm missing. A really, really world-class goalkeeper. Jan Sommer is not there, unfortunately. And yeah, they have, I mean, it's very much a European team in the, you know, in the mold of you don't have a super superstar, but you have a very solid team all over, and you could see that yesterday. I mean, the uh, the most positive thing is that Switzerland was playing with Portugal, and both teams actually, for uh, at least 67, 70 minutes, played actually forward, um, not hiding or being overwhelmed by by the occasion, which is always a positive thing to say. Um, Switzerland actually had the first bigger chance where there was kind of the ball was bouncing around in the box and suddenly gets to Shakiri who is uh, alone in front of Rui Patricio uh, and yeah he doesn't get it past him because the angle got a little bit too tight um, and then yeah uh, I think Seferovic uh, almost connected or he did connect and it just curled past the post uh, which is interesting because he has been playing in the Port Portuguese league so um, and has been on fire there so you would expect quite some stuff from him uh, he was a threat but you know not the biggest uh, one Portugal played Joao Felic uh, finally and of course Ronaldo was back in the lineup 
Um, of course, Ronaldo is back in the lineup. Yeah, I said in my preview that I'm wondering how it will be with Ronaldo back. Yes, he played already in uh, spring in the two qualifiers where they only managed draws against the Ukraine and Serbia at home, which actually puts Portugal a little bit under pressure. This this qualification group will be a very, very, very interesting one. Okay. Then, uh, one of the players, and maybe it's appearance, uh, I actually think he played well, was Mbappo. I mean, most of the Swiss attacks went over the right side over him, and he actually got a lot of stuff going. But his first real action of note was when he made a kind of naive tackle on Ronaldo. Oh no, before that, Ronaldo, the, uh, I th uh, was a horrible pass uh, in the Swiss defense. Was it Zuba? I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, who played the ball seemingly back and right, right on the path of Bernardo Silva, who gave it to Ronaldo, who decided to shoot immediately. I mean, if he makes one touch, he's free on goal. I think he probably has, has a better chance. I thought when, I mean, the two of them were going clear on goal. A little bit more um, patience. And that should be 1-0. But I understand also, I mean, the quicker you shoot, the more unexpected it can, can be. So, you know, I'm not blaming Ronaldo, but I thought uh, a little bit more patience there. One more touch. Uh, he has all the skill to get this in. But then, yeah, the Mbabu uh, challenge. I think he played the ball, but it came maybe a little bit much, too much from behind. And so, in the end, it's a free kick. Um, I can understand that he, he and most of the Swiss players are upset about it. On the other side, don't do such a... It was really a really naive challenge, I have to say. Free kick, Ronaldo, Sommer puts his wall, and for some reason speculates that uh, Ronaldo will go on the near corner. No, he puts it in the far corner, and uh, Sommer has no chance ever to make it. And I have to say, this is on the goalkeeper. If the ball goes in that bad corner, you at least need, need it to be there. It was not, I mean, it was never well taken. And it's maybe unexpected to go from that position into that corner. But still, uh, it hit the goal without being uh, a super hard shot or anything like that. It was not like this uh, super wow free kick that Ronaldo pulled in against Portugal a year, uh, against Spain a year ago, or what Messi does on a regular basis slide against Ronaldo so yeah um, this was savable uh, the game then teeny bit slowed down I mean the first few 50 minutes felt really lively it slowed down a little bit I mean when the goal was scored but still you thought that Switzerland can get, get something going and ahead of the halftime they had a pretty good chance by uh, Seferovic uh, with a header that just uh, kissed the upper side of the bar um, he was not firing and this is more the Seferovic that I'm used to, not the one that people say uh, is a great striker for Benfica. There was also another interesting thing, João Felice was in the box and Ricardo Rodriguez kind of pulled him just slightly back. Uh, referee did not give a penalty. I thought it was not enough of a challenge to give a penalty. But in light of what was happening in the second half, I found this a curious decision. Uh, second half starts and after 10, 10 minutes we have the first a really contentious sequence. Um, there is a ball played by Shakiri towards, um, I think it was, was it Tuba? I'm keeping my Swiss players, uh, it was not Sederovic, uh, who goes into the, to the box and then falls in the box. Um, he thinks because of a challenge by Semedo, who Semedo heads it towards Rui Patricio. Um, the ball can, goes really on the other side of the field where Ronaldo and Bernardo Silva have a pretty clear position in the, in, in the box and Bernardo Silva is fouled in the box for a clear penalty. Referee takes it. Swiss immediately protesting, what about the other, what about the other side? And VAR is consulted and I see the first replay and I have to say of the Swiss situation, I mean the one for uh, Portugal, to me that was a stonewall penalty. Uh, 
when I saw the first thing, there was nothing. Then after repeated replay, you see there is a slight touch, but honestly, this should be a foul. I'm sorry. I mean, it was a. I was actually thinking if he looks at it, he probably will get it. But what I found very curious is that um, yes, he gets a slight touch on the heel and then trips over himself to fall down. To me personally. I would not have given that penalty. On the other side, uh, I hear other people say yes, because there's this contact on the heel, it is a penalty. Oh, I don't know. Not gonna lie to you, I was more in favor of Switzerland in that game. Uh, I actually would have liked to see them win, so I was happy that uh, the penalty then was scored by Ricardo Rodriguez. I just didn't feel it was really a penalty. My wife actually said, if it's fair, then the, goal, the penalty will go in. Well, it went in because at the moment I think a draw for Switzerland was the fair result. And then I have to say the game slowly, slowly, slowly uh, headed into a lot of quietness. I mean, yes, the players were still uh, trying, uh, blah, 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 but you know, it was clear no one was taking the big risk anymore. Uh, and I even said, said to my wife, um, you know, I'm afraid this will go to overtime. Um, you don't need to wait for me. We can go to we can go to bed soon. And yeah, we said we're gonna watch the game uh, at least the regular regulation to to the end. Um, but I really didn't think that anything is gonna happen, and then something did happen. Uh, nice, a long ball towards Bernardo Silva, puts it back to Ronaldo, who just slammed in a typical Ronaldo fashion in a near corner. Sama has very little chance of uh, sa saving that it's 2 1 Portugal in the 88th minute. That was a typical Ronaldo goal, I, 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 I gotta say. I mean, the ball falls to him and he just fall on the lower corner. Uh, unsavable. Switzerland immediately puts out another uh, attacker, tries to go for something. Xhaka loses the ball, it gets to Ronaldo, who sprints down the field into the uh, fifth side left corner of the box, cuts in and curls a really nice shot, make it 3 1. And there you go. Uh, Portugal, thanks to Ronaldo hat trick, gets a win that I think probably overall deserved. Um, although Switzerland was hanging quite well in there, I think a two goals is one goal too high. But again, um, Switzerland need, needed to go for something. It's almost like the empty net. It was not really empty net, but uh, Switzerland then took the risk and it backfired significantly. Switzerland was in that game uh, for quite a while. They could have gotten some, something, especially if Seferovic takes one of his uh, chances. Um, still think Portugal deserved to win that one, so hence wearing Portugal, of course, today, uh, Euro 2016 shirt. Um, but you know, um, I don't mind them uh, winning at all. I mean, they're the host nation. I actually think that this might have been the. Uh, I'm not going to say something stupid, but I think that both against England and against the Netherlands. Uh, I cannot see them losing the final, although on home soil losing a final, that's a very Portuguese thing, so remains to be seen. As for Switzerland, I think they put up a spirited fight, good performance, uh, to be commended. Let's see how they, if they will finish third or fourth, there's a lot of money at stake. One last thing for this other semi-final today between um, England and the Netherlands. Um, Gareth Southgate seemingly is in, uh, wants to not play the players to play in the Champions League final, which I think in the case of Kane uh, surely is not a bad thing because he's just not fit. I'm sure he will bring them on at some point. Um, on one side I think he does the right thing. On the other side it also kind of shows yeah, he takes this more as a friendly than taking it fully seriously. But I understand they were playing in the Champions League final day and you could see that especially the Spurs players were not all that fit. And they have some other players so I think England will pull, pull out a respectable squad and let's see what the Netherlands will pull out. I don't expect as open of a game for some reason 
today as I did yesterday. I thought yes, yesterday was more confident. By the way, I said 2 0 Portugal. Yes, it's 3 1, so I got at least the difference right. But as I said, it's 4 goals. Anyway, let me know if you watched that game, what do you think about that game. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.